Joining me today is Dr. Sarah Friedewald from the Lynn Sage Comprehensive Breast Center at Northwestern Medical. Now, Dr. Friedewald, we know that mammograms are a very important part to breast health, but sometimes a biopsy is needed. Can you first explain to us what a breast biopsy is? Typically, uh, when we refer to a breast biopsy, we are talking about a needle biopsy, which is performed by radiologists with image guidance. And it really is a way to uh, take a little bit of tissue out of the breast to identify what's causing the finding that we're seeing on the imaging. Why would someone need to have a biopsy if they're getting their mammograms done? Usually people need to have a biopsy because we see a finding either on the mammogram or on the ultrasound or even an MRI that suggests it could be related to breast cancer. So if we find something that has uh, suspicious characteristics, then we will recommend that the patient has a biopsy. Only about 20% of the patients we biopsy actually have breast cancer. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have something wrong. It just means that there are some suspicious findings that we need to do a little bit more investigation to find out what's going on. There are really three possible results you can get from a biopsy. It can come back benign, uh, which is not cancer. It can come back malignant, which is cancer, or it could come back something called atypia or abnormal cells that may need surgery to investigate whether there's some associated cancer nearby. So you get called back, you do your additional screening and they say you need to have a biopsy. What should you prepare for? Patients really tolerate biopsies pretty well. There's no restrictions in terms of eating or anything like that. We just give local anesthesia, so we just numb the skin, numb deeper into the area where we want a biopsy. We take small pieces of tissue after that. So there really isn't much preparation. Usually patients are very anxious coming in, but um, the anxiety is often just associated with what the results are gonna be. Usually results come back in about two days, sometimes a, a little bit earlier. Let's talk about recovery. Are we able to get back to our daily lives right away or should we take a little bit of downtime? It is an emotional experience. It is a little stressful. So it, it is nice to take the time off that day and pamper yourself a little bit. We ask you that you don't do any heavy lifting because we don't want any uh, extra bleeding to occur unnecessarily. One thing a lot of people may not know is that after the procedure, or as the procedure is ending, you insert little tiny pins into the breast. What are those and why do you do that? We place it, what's called a, a biopsy clip or marker inside the breast. It's very, very small. We use a magnifying glass to see them. So if the area needs to come out by a surgeon or have it surgically removed, then the surgeons know exactly where we took our sample. Additionally, if the area doesn't need to come out, any subsequent mammogram or breast imaging procedure, the radiologist will know that that area was sampled. Patients shouldn't worry about these markers. You will not go off at the airport. You'll not feel the marker. Dr. Friedewa, overall, getting a breast biopsy is really not something we should worry about. It's sort of the next step in making sure that we can maintain proper breast health. When you have information about what you're dealing with, then we know which pathway uh, to go down. If a biopsy is recommended for you, that you should have it done. The more information you have about what's going on inside your, your breast allows us to tailor the therapy necessary for you. Hey, did you like that and you want more Living Healthy content? It's easy. Just check out these videos right here.